What's going on YouTube and welcome back Uncommon Sense fam. It's your boy Uncommon Sense here and I want to come at you guys today with a different type of video. As you can see, I'm in motion once again. It is very freaking early. My eyes are red. I have not had any sleep. Partially because I knew I had an early flight. So today's video is centered around my fragrance wish list. You guys know what this is. You know what you came here for. We about to get into this thing. Let's go. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. More than likely, gonna have to break this video up into several different parts. What can I say? I'm addicted to fragrances. My scent of the day is Jimmy Choo Man Ice. I figured it would be good for me to travel using this fragrance because it's pretty light, it's fresh, it's inoffensive, I believe, and I don't think anybody will think I smell terrible. In addition to having a clean body, first and foremost, clean, it smells like an Italian ice, to be quite honest with you. So, my first fragrance that I want to talk about is Bortnikoff Musk. Bortnikoff Musk is a fragrance I want to try. A few different people in Fragcom have mentioned it, so I really feel like this fragrance could and probably would be one that I want in my collection. Another fragrance that I want in my collection is Palo Salto by Carner Barcelona. My man Brightro has some Carna Barcelona. When I started doing my research on Carna Barcelona, I saw that they had Palo Salto. I actually love the Palo Salto cones and sticks, and I burned them like an incense. So, shout out to Hey Friend Hey. I heard Dustin and the Sons have a podcast called The Friend Zone. She talks about Palo Salto and how that helps to clear bad energy, etc. So, that's a fragrance that I actually want to have in my collection to, to try out to see if it's something that I'm going to keep around. Another fragrance that I want in my collection, Mancera's Oud Blue Notes. Listen, you guys know my fragrance taste. I love blue fragrances. And I'm interested to try this fragrance out because I feel like it will personally mesh with my personality, my style, and it will fit well with my collection. I've talked to a few individuals in Fragcom and I was asking, is it redundant to have Oud, Lemon, Mint, and Blue Notes? So I got some information that said it's, it wouldn't be. With that being said, I definitely want to get that fragrance in my collection. Another fragrance that I want in my collection is Floraiku Umbrella for Two. Partially because I love that bottle and that top combination. It kind of looks like umbrella, legitimately. I didn't know it was going to be that expensive. That's first and foremost. <laughs> but I'm interested in it. When I'm intrigued, it doesn't matter. The interesting thing is I don't have any duos in my collection, but I got two coming. So those actually don't get a chance to count for the wish list because I'm going to fulfill that wish. Another fragrance that I'm interested in getting in my collection is Ex Nihilo Narcartique. It has a lychee note and I don't have any fragrances with lychee in it. So I'm very interested in getting that in my collection. Another fragrance house that I actually don't have any right now is Byredo. And I definitely want to get Byredo, Bao de Freak, and Mojave Ghost in my collection. I've had a bad experience with Byredo before because when I had incense to shimber, I hated it. I'm kind of... Hesitant to try to get them in my collection right now, but I definitely feel like I want and or need <laughs> Them in my collections, especially being a collector who is just not getting into niche fragrances My red is a little pricey in my opinion I've heard a few things that they don't last the longest and you know to be quite honest with you I'm good with having fragrances that don't perform the best, but I don't know about fragrances that just don't last so I don't know how I feel about that one. Another fragrance that I want to add to my fragrance which is is Vetu de Ver by Oz. Uh, I recently just had a chance to see him on some lives. I didn't even know that was his fragrance, but I'm interested in it. My man over at the Quality Fragrances and a few other frag heads were telling me about Vetu de Ver. They actually made some of their top 10 lists, so I'm very interested in that fragrance as well. Another fragrance I'm interested in is by Mancera, So Blue 
different from Blue Notes. I'm actually in just in trance with the House of Massey because they offer great quality fragrances for a decent price, especially to be a niche house. Another fragrance that I want to add to my fragrance wish list, Montal Tropical Wood. I feel like I need to get that in my collection. I really wish my scent box had a lot more of these so I could just test them out and see if I really, really need to have them because I've been running into a lot of niche fragrances that I actually do not like. Actually, one of those being <laughs> Amouage Beach Hut, man. I just don't care for it. And I actually found out that I actually have one of these fragrances in my collection that smells like that. It's a Joe Malone 157. And to be quite honest with you, just for the brand name, I don't need to have the fragrance, especially if I already have something that smells like it. I don't need that. So I was a little disappointed with the wash. I won't lie to you, but it's a part of the frag journey. So it is what it is. Another fragrance that I'm interested in getting in my collection is by Genre Parfums Voodoo. My man, Russell Anderson, Scent Hunters, hype that one and i trust his scent sense so i'm very interested in that fragrance to get that in my collection another fragrance i'm interested in getting in my collection or should i say to fill my wish list is going to be a zerge of 1888 i've heard a lot of great things and i missed my beat last time i slept and actually missed out on a really good price for the fragrance another zerge i thought i wanted in my collection is 40 knots me and tara over at Olfactor Files, we're talking about that. So that's actually going on my list. Another fragrance by, again, Zerjoff is going to be Dolce Amalfi. Another fragrance I want for my collection is Balenciaga's Flora Botanica. I hear that it has a cannabis note, and I'm extremely interested in that. Um, I don't have any fragrances that have a cannabis note. And as I'm doing this vlog, people are walking past on the booth walkway looking at me weird because I'm talking to my phone but they don't know I'm talking to some of my favorite people in the world which is of course my uncommon sense fam and clan and my fragcom family I'll be weird talking to my people you know what I mean so whatever This has to be the quickest that I've ever gotten through security into my gate. We about to get into that thing. Are y'all ready? Let's go. You have to get a chance to see a little bit more of me body wise. Just a little something fun, you know? My eyes are red. That's because I knew if I went to sleep, I was going to miss this flight. So, I'm going to thank you guys now for your patience. I'm in the airport. I'm trying to do a vlog with a mask on. You guys probably won't even be able to hear me. We're going to probably have to mess around with the audio on this one. What I really just want to talk about is my fragrance wish. What's going on YouTube and welcome back Uncommon. What's going on YouTube and welcome back Uncommon Sense Fam. You know, I am in motion like I tell you guys often. Um, I gotta get these videos in where I can, right? So today is no different. What's going on YouTube and welcome back Uncommon Sense Fam. I'm in the airport. If you guys cannot tell or hear, grabbing this video real quick right okay so today's video I'm probably gonna have to break this up in several different parts for the simple fact that I want a lot of fragrances <laughs> I'm greedy and I like what I like so with that being said this list is probably gonna be very long so I'll probably have to break this up in several parts if you want to inquire about the bundles I braided them out so now that i've taken them down you know they crinkly wavy curly whatever you want to call it and i've heard some um
And when I started doing my research on Connor Barcelona, I saw Paulo Salto. Paulo Salto? Shout out to Hey Fran Hey or Francesca at she has a podcast called The Friend Zone. Her Dustin and Asante get a handle on and have in my collection to, to try out. Please also remember that masks and other face coverings are required at all times within the airport. Um. Another fragrance I another fragrance I want for my collection that's on. Another fragrance that is on my fragrance wish list is Shag Off Food Gold. I typically want it for the bottle. I think somebody in Fragcon mentioned it, and that inspired and sparked my interest in the fragrance. So I need to get a sample of that in my collection. I don't want to blind buy, but I think I'm probably going to have to, but that's okay. Now, one thing I'm going to do is several of these are complete blind buys for me. Some I am looking for a sample of, and some I may just buy a full bottle of because they're going to probably be too hard to either get a sample of them or it's going to be too pricey. So, with that being said, I'm going to start with one. Well, first and foremost, I'm going to give you a visual I'm gonna give you a visual of this fragrance so you guys know what I'm talking about. Another fragrance that I'm interested in getting into my collection is Ex Nihilo. It has a lychee note. Another fragrance that I'm interested in getting in my collection 